Hello guys, and in this lecture I'll be showing you how to create transitions between the pages so then it doesn't just change the content every time when you click a different link. So we're going to, I have my code right here automatically, so I'm just going to copy this and then we'll uh, discuss what it does. So basically I'm just creating an animation, bounce in, and that's first it's going to make it, it's going to start from zero, so it's going to start from nothing. Then it's going to make the content a little bit bigger than it should be, so 1.1, and then it's going to go to how it should be, or transform scale 1. And then when it's bouncing out, so when you click on a different link, so if I click on this, it's going to bounce out first, and then it's going to bounce in the new content. So bounce out, it starts with the regular size, then it goes to a little bit bigger, then it goes to 0. And we're just making this 0.5 seconds long for bounce out and 0.8 seconds long for bounce in. So I just think that this adds more character to the website. Instead of just like loading in the content, it does this. So you can actually refresh it and it won't do the transition, but once you do change the page, it does. So you can just play around with this and see if you can create any different transitions like with opacity or any different type of transition. And I actually added this into the the default CSS that we are loading in via the nux.config.js that's inside of our assets folder and actually if you wanted to have this CSS file inside of our static which we can access just by adding it into our static and then we actually have to change this to instead of the tilde we should be able to do static and then if I refresh this, we actually, oh, sorry, we have to get out of this folder. So if we're outside nux.config, we should be opening up the static. And then we should go from here into the static file. So I hope I'll see you guys in the next lecture.